in this video we are going to be looking at VAT and how to calculate it. Okay. Firstly, remember that VAT is actually value added tax and this could be easy marks in the test, so remember that. The next thing to remember is okay, VAT, when do you pay VAT? Only on certain items, okay, not everything you buy. And finally, now at this point in 2024, VAT is 15% of the price, 15% of the price of the item, okay, and then you still need to add that to the price as well. So you find the 15% and then you add it to the price. Okay, let me give you two easy, simple formulas that you can remember. The first one is when VAT is excluded. Okay, so VAT is not part of the price. Okay, let me say here, it doesn't form part of the price, just as an explanation. In this case, you would take the price you would multiply it by 1.15 and this would give you the new price with VAT. So it's the price where VAT becomes part. And this is a very good formula to remember just like that. Okay, in the other instance we have VAT included. So in this case they already added VAT to the price so now it forms part of the price, the final price, and here it would just be the price and the opposite now divide by 1.15 and this would give you the price before or without VAT, any of those ones before or without VAT. Super easy to remember. Now let me give you a little extra. This is to explain where this formula comes from. You don't actually have to know, but it can help you. So let's start with the red one, where VAT is excluded. Okay, remember this is just extra. If you're afraid it's going to confuse you, move on to the examples. Okay, the VAT excluded one. So now we need to add VAT. The question is add the VAT. So you would take your price, right? Then you would add 15% of this price. Well, let me write it the other way around. 15% of the price, right? So you would add that 15% VAT. Now let's imagine the price as being 100% because that's the full amount. And then the 15%, we know that, that we just add. Let's manipulate this a little. You remember that 100% is actually 100 over 100. Similarly, 15% is 15 over 100. And if you add this, put it on your calculator and add it, you find 115. And we have 100 here in the bottom of the price. Okay. And when you type this in your calculator, once again, you get a decimal fraction 1.15. Of becomes times, and there is your formula very long way and this is how we got to it in the end. So if this is confusing to you, just try and remember this last part. Okay, let's go back now. What about the price divided by 1.15? Well, I obviously did the opposite here, as you can see, but if you really want to know, <laughs> now that is included, right? And the question here would be, determine the original price. And we actually have a formula for that original price. Maybe you've seen this before somewhere. The formula is 100 over 100 plus the percentage specified in your question times your price. Okay. Let's say in our case, we want to know the original price before VAT. So before VAT was added, we would say 100 over 100 plus 15 percent times the price and this would be 100 over 115 times the price but now if you swap this around this is little grade a grade nine maths when you swap this fraction it becomes um, the price divided by 115 is now at the top because i swapped it around 100 at the bottom 
and this is simply the price divided by 1.15. This is extra info that you didn't need to know. You're welcome. Okay, here we go. Let's put what we learned into practice. Let's look at an example. You paid 244.50 for a 5 litre paint tin. Okay, let me draw this paint tin right here beside this paint can. Let's say there's your paint can. This guy is 5 litres. Okay, and you paid that much. Now, it's important to note that VAT is not included in the price. Right? Question A would be calculate the price inclusive of VAT. So when you add VAT to the price, let's go. Which formula am I going to use? This red one, because I want to know what is the price with VAT. Okay, so VAT was excluded, now we're adding VAT. So it's the red formula. I'm going to say to find A, 244 Rand, comma 50, my price times 1.15, Put that in your calculator just like that you get a new price and it is 281 comma 18 okay now look at this answer does it make sense your answer is more than the original price yes it makes sense because you went and added something you added that so it makes sense right okay let's look at question Calculate the amount of VAT. If ever they ask just for the amount of VAT, right? You take your price and you just times it by 15%. You just want to know what is 15% of the price. 244.50 times 15% over 100. And you get your answer quick and simple. 36 Rand 68 cents. Easy. Or you could say the new price minus the old price and that would be 281,18 that's the new price minus the original price and you would get the exact same answer also just a little extra there okay last example you buy a pair of shoes for 360 rand there's my pair of shoes i've actually decided just to go with like a sandal oh i'm trying to draw something yeah anyway what was the price before VAT? So there's no VAT in, uh, sorry, VAT is already then included in this price. Do you understand? What was the price before they added VAT? So VAT is included. So it's the green formula. We want to find the price without VAT or before VAT. The same thing. So let's say we're going to say the price divided now by 1.15. The price is 360 Rand, divide by 15, uh, and the answer is 313,04. Okay, check your price. Is this less than 360? Yes, and that is fine because this is the price without VAT. Okay, before they added VAT. Now, question B. Question B asks us, how much VAT did you pay? So if I want to know the amount of VAT, I'm simply going to take my new price, right? So it's the big price minus the old price or the original price. And that one is the smaller one. So you will say 360 Rand minus the 313,04. Type it in on your calculator. And the answer that you get is 46 rands and 96 cents. Okay, that is the end of our video. Please remember to share, like, subscribe and become part of the Whiteboard SA team.